Hey everyone, Jamie Mix here from Miss Paper, and today I'm sharing a flip through of my 52 Weeks of Me project, and then just a super quick process video afterwards putting together week four. So I'm using a four by four ring album from Paige Evans um, for this project, and let me give you a quick flip through. So here's the title page that I did using the promo from 52 Weeks of Me that Susanna created, Made in Mojave created. And then I just added a photo strip um, using some of the photos from week one, week two, and week three. And so here is week one. And all of the journaling is printed out on tags and slipped inside the page protector um, behind each week's little four by four layout. So week two is interests. Week three was color. And week four, which I've just finished, is um, my happy place. So it's a really simple, quick, and easy project that I am doing. Um, I was incredibly inspired by Kat Benjamin, and I will link her in the YouTube description box. Um, she has a 52 favorites project she does for her daughter, and every week she posts like a favorite photo of her daughter, and she does these little four by four layouts. Basically, it looks a lot like this because I love um, the way she does it and so I'm kind of using her as my inspiration and I'm replicating what she has done. So I am loving this project so far. It's really quick and simple to do. Um, the, the most work comes in just typing the journaling and printing the journaling directly onto the little tags. But I mean that isn't a lot of work at all but um, the most labor intensive part of this because designing is really quick and simple and easy and I am just loving how this is coming together. My intention is to add ribbon or fiber to the top of each of these so that I have tons of little fibers and stuff sticking out of the top, um, but my stuff, my ribbon and things are packed right now, so I'm leaving that for another day. It's gonna be a really quick and simple job once I unpack that and um, just add my ribbons to each of the little tags. So here's the process video portion of this video. It's really quick and simple to put these little pages together. I printed out um, my photo with a bit of a white border. So the whole thing measures three by four inches. So the photo itself is a little bit smaller than that. And then I've been using this flat cardstock paper from Ellie Studio because it comes in just a huge variety of colors and I'm measuring one of the previous pages just to see how um, big I need to cut this down. So you end up with lots of extra paper that I can use elsewhere in other projects. Cut it down and I'm gonna adhere my photo down. And once that is done, it's just a matter of picking little bits and pieces from my, um, these are my die cut bins. Um, I have sorted them out by color and I'll link the description, I'll link the these specific um, containers in the description box on YouTube so if you're interested in purchasing those you can uh, but I really love them they come into a 12 pack and so that is just enough um, containers that I need to divide them into like Roy G Biv and then add in teal add in like multicolored uh, a multicolored section so for this project I pull heavily 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 from these little die cut bins and then also I have lots of label stickers label stickers that I have collected. Tons from Freckled Fawn, I love them. Um, they often have sales, so that's usually when I pick up these label stickers. And I've even been known to purchase multiples of the same just because I love them and I think they're great. Um, I use a Studio Calico stamp set to stamp out week, W-E-E-K, week, and then also the number of the week. Um, I have never had this problem with a Studio Calico stamp before, but it, they're, the stamps themselves were cut really shallow, so whenever I stamp, there's always like bits and pieces of the background that get stamped as well, which really frustrates me. I've um, kind of scraped the thing down, um, the actual acrylic down, trying to um, get that to stamp a little bit better, so I can be really hesitant sometimes when I'm stamping, and that's why the word week is a little bit lighter than black black. So what I do is just take a Sharpie since it's black ink and you'll see me here in just a moment, um, coloring it in with a black Sharpie just to make it a bit darker. And I'm just 
pulling from the purple, red, and yellow bins because I think that those colors coordinate well with this photo because of the awesome sweatshirt that I'm wearing. Um, it is a sweatshirt from my friend Jen Chapin's shop. I'll also link that down below in the description box on YouTube in case you guys are interested in purchasing any merch for, from her or watching any of her awesome videos. Um, but as you can see here, I'm just trying to color in the word week because it didn't stamp very well. I was actually really hesitant to stamp it because I didn't want to get any of the background or any like um, little spots and specks in between the letters, which is what had been happening. So it's, it's simple enough when I'm stamping with black ink to then just color it in with a Sharpie. Um, I added die cut tags. I added label stickers. I've added vellum, um, a vellum asterisk. And now I'm just doing a tiny bit of stamping on one of the banners using that same Studio Calico stamp set. The little, the text phrases seem to have um, done really well. And so I'm not too worried about stamping those. Um, I'm going through my various dimensional embellishments to see if I can add a bit here or there. Then I add some washi, cut the ends off, and then slip it into my album. And then just behind it is the tag. So here are photos of the finished pages. Uh, I've posted still images over on Instagram at misc paper. That's M-I-S-C paper. And you can also click the link in my YouTube banner. For info on the products I use, check out the links in the description box on YouTube. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to like it and or subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you. Jamie Makes, signing off.